hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you about uh, the pixels api and we will be making a short little photo search application to it so if you go to go, uh, browser and type here pixels.com this is a website pixels.com so this is a photo search application and if you go to slash api it it will be having their own api you can see that you need to create an account here i have already created an account and now you just need to get the api key so just click this request access button and then you just need to briefly talk about your project so this is a photo search app and then you just need to give the address of your website coding com. i give it you need to agree with the terms and condition and then request the api key then it will give you your api key this is your api key you can see that you can just copy this and now you can read more about the endpoint where you will he be hitting this so if you go to the api if you just uh, drag down and read the documentation so the api has its documentation you can search the photographs you can see that this is the endpoint that we will be hitting here if you go to this first of all it will be asking for you to provide the authorization header for that we just need to make the application so this is a index.html file let me delete all the code from here i have included jquery and this is my script.js let me just delete uh, let me just re replace this by images so i am using bootstrap here i have already included the cdn of bootstrap let me just change this to mini image search application and there is an input field i have given here id of search so this is input type text and i have a submit button and now if i refresh the application let me delete all the code from here uh, you can see that guys if i refresh it uh, i think that this is not the application i need to replace the port number 55001 this is a port number so let me just change the port number to this port number so you will see that mini image search so i need to enter a text here and then we need to make a get request so now inside the javascript we will write our code here so we will be having dollar document dot ready function we will write and first of all we will be storing the api key that we have got like this and now we will be targeting the form here i have given an id to it of form and when we the form is submitted like this a callback function will execute it will hold the event object first of all we want to prevent the form from auto submitting so we will be calling this method event prevent default like this and now we just need to uh, get the text that the user has typed like this we have given an id to it of search and we will be extracting the value like this dot pal and now we just need to make uh, a simple function which will be responsible for image search so let me just make this function image search and inside this we will be making a simple get request so dollar dot get so let me just search uh, how we can add a authorization header in jquery how to add a authorization header in jquery get method so so here you can just uh, see here how you can just pass this so there is a stack overflow here you can see that before sent function is there so you can just copy paste this here so before you send the request you can just send this uh, set this authorization header so i can just write here dollar dot ajax i can use here and uh, here we can just write here uh, this one
I think that Dix takes some options here. First of all, we just need to provide the options. So method will be post or oh sorry get comma and then we just need to write this before send and we just need to set a request header so authorization will be equal to the api key so whatever api key that we have stored here so here you will pass the api key here like this api key like this so now we have successfully set the request header and now we just need to uh, pass the url whatever url that we are hitting so now let me just see the url this is a url copy this and paste it here so api.pixels.com http api pixel.com slash version 1 slash search kiori is equal to so now you just need to replace this by the user type whatever user has typed so this is there inside search plus oh sorry plus query sorry and we just need to wrap this inside double quotes like this and per page we are displaying 15 photos at a time and page is equal to number one and that's it so this is our url guys so now this is complete let me just delete this so just put a comma here and a success callback so whenever the request is successful we will be having a function which will be holding the data so now we just need to console log the data like this and also if any kind of error take place we can also have an error function so function error we can also console log the error like this and now if I refresh it refresh the application so this is the application if I inspect element and go to console you will see that a JSON response will be written so let me just search flower and click on search So you will see that guys a, a JSON response is, result, uh, is returned to me and it is holding 15 photos at a time because we have provided this value and in each photograph we have the width height and this is a URL of the photograph so and this is a source you can see that original you can have various dimensions large medium small portrait landscape tiny we will be displaying the original photographs we just we will just be having a, a image tag and now what we want here is that we will be declaring a right here a image variable and we will be just to be initializing it so it will contain an empty value and now inside this uh, images we will be populating the images 15 photographs so now we will be inside this we will be making use of for each loop and the array will be located inside uh, data dot let me just see uh, let me again have flower so it is located inside photos array so you can see that photos and in in that we have the source source dot original let me just uh, uncheck this so inside this we have data dot photos so inside this we have each photograph here this is the index variable inside for each loop and now we just need to construct our uh, image that we have created and we will be using the backtick symbol so this allows you to write multiple html code and now inside this we will be writing image source tag source will be equal to the it will be photo dot source dot original like this so this is the source attribute that's it we will be giving a width of uh, let's suppose uh, 400 and a height of let's suppose also 300 and I will close the image tab and lastly I just need to add this onto the images 
div so we will be targeting by id and we will be using the append function in jquery and we will be passing this image that's it and now if i refresh it hopefully it will display the images to you if i refresh this once again I have not saved it so let me just turn on the auto save option if I refresh it and if I search flower and click on search so you will see that guys it is displaying the photograph so it will take some time so just wait so these are the photographs it is displaying here so it totally depends upon how many photographs you have I can pass let's suppose 10 photographs so that it takes less time so inside the request you can just change this number to let's suppose I only want to display 5 photographs on page 1 so if I make this change click on flower so now it will take less, less time because it have to load less images at one time so you can see that it is loading the photographs so just wait So these photographs are also larger in size so that is why it takes uh, longer time to load for the very first time if you are so if you inspect element go to console you will see that a object is returned here and it is holding five photographs on one page so the dimensions is very large so you can see that it is a jpeg image if i save this it will also take larger time in storing these images so source.original Uh, let me just remove remove this width and height and then check because I think that uh, Due to addition of this it is taking more time if I again type flower here and click on search And now you will see that it will take less less time because I have removed the dimensions width and height So the image is very big so you can see that the images are in MB 3.7 MB so they are very large images so it will take more time to load this these images so it is very if you're making this application for production so you need to have more space inside your website so in this way this was the overview of how to make uh, use the pixels API so thanks very much for watching this video